Minister, the one thing that comes across every time that I meet a family uh, with children with disabilities or uh, additional needs is there's a common thread, and that is that they have to battle every single day of their life. And they're battling in some cases to keep their child alive, to get the best prospects for their child, battling the education system, battling the health system, battling the state. And we need to get to a point where that no longer happens. We are a country that is full of resources. We're a country that is putting billions of euros away in terms of wealth funds for some time in the future. Yet here and now, children with additional needs, children with disabilities can't get the supports, that, that basic supports that they need. We're talking about children who are currently in pain because the equipment that they have, the braces that they have, are no longer fitting for them. Children who are in wheelchairs that are too small for them, but there's no occupational therapist to come out and look and fit the equipment that they have. We're talking about children in classrooms which their equipment is outdated and obsolete, but still has to be used because there's nobody there to actually deal with this. And in my county in Donegal, we have a major, major crisis. We have right across the, uh, the, the, the CDNT networks, vacancies right across the board. In East Donegal, there's only one SLT, no occupational therapist, no physiotherapist on the team. And it's the stories of the families who are most important here. I listened to families and they told us just this week about their daughter, eight-year-old, fought so hard for the baby to be present in the world. She'd open heart surgery at 16 weeks old. She, her intervention team is practically non-existent. They said they got no help from the HSE at all in terms of weaning off her feeding tube. Another parent who's got a child of 11 with epilepsy very complex disabilities, peg-fed, non-verbal, is a candidate for scoliosis, 80% curvature of the spine, but unlikely to get it. Why? Because they have no support at local areas. Last speech and language appointment was November 2022. Last physiotherapy, May 2023. Your budget ensured that children like that will continue to suffer. It is not acceptable. We need to end the fact that these parents are battling against the system, battling against government, and let's do the right thing. You need to change direction in relation to the funding that you provided disability service last week.